Hey, hi, hello, I'm Martin, your RD, some sort of visual effects artist in the industry, learning Blender's weird ways. Here's how to set up a background image playing with your plate in Blender with a frame range that does not start at zero. I'm using B for Artists, but the process is the same. Link to B for Artists in the description. I like to recommend you check it out if you're already familiar with other 3D programs. It makes Blender less painful overall. All right, top right, Collections view, Outliner for Maya people, Scene Explorer for 3ds Max people. Select your camera. Make sure that it's enabled by clicking the eyeball icon. Uh, immediately below it is the Properties panel. On the toolbar to the left-hand side, look for a camera icon. Click that. Click the tab for Background Images. Click the checkbox. Click Add Image. Set it to Image and click Open. Navigate to wherever your image sequence is. I'm going to paste in my path. And then the top right button, there's an icon that says Toggle Region. Uh, in Vanilla Blender, it's a gear, and B for Artists, it's this window with a little link. Click that, you'll get a little sidebar menu. You want to enable detect sequences and disable detect UDIMs. So Blender stops thinking everything is a UDIM. Select the first frame, hit A instead of Control A to select all, like you'd expect, and then open the image. Back in the Background Images tab, uh, make sure that your source is set to Image Sequence. And then underneath that, frames is the total number of frames in your image sequence. Start is the first number of your image sequence, so it's 1001 for me. Uh, offset it if you have handles, of course. Offset is an offset from 1. So if your image sequence always starts with 1001, then this offset will always be 1000. Uh, back in the viewport, if you don't see the timeline at the bottom, uh, right above the navigation icons, you can get the double arrows, pull that up a little bit, and you'll have your timeline. The playhead and the shot will still be on frame 1. Uh, look for the current frame box above the timeline, and type the starting frame, and then in the start box, type the same, whatever your starting frame is, and in the end box, type the end of your image sequence. So in my case, it's 1216. Your timeline view will still be focused on frame 1, so with your mouse in the timeline, you can uh, regular scroll to scroll out, and hold control and scroll, and that will scroll you through time forwards. Back in the top right collections view, we are going to select our camera. Uh, in the B for Artists viewport, you can click the camera icon in Vanilla Blender, right click on the camera, and select Set Active Camera. Uh, you can see we've got our plate as the background image plant now. And that's how you do it. Thanks so much for watching.